Oliver had been to the works to be mended. Some troublesome trucks tricked him and the Great Western engine fell into the turntable well. Now, Oliver was as good as new, but he was still worried about trucks. I'd rather not use them, he puffed to himself. But the trucks sang songs, rude and loud. Scruffy, their leader, led the chorus. Oliver's no use at all, takes you very clever, says that he can manage us, that's the best joke ever. When the yard is up, sometimes, with the grace is folly, we just push him down the well. Pop goes old Dolly. Thomas, Duck and Percy were shocked. Be quiet, they ordered. But they couldn't be everywhere, and everywhere they weren't, the trucks began again. Oh, there's no use at all. Thinks he's very clever. Says that he can manage us. That's the best joke ever. At last, the engines gave up. We're sorry, Oliver, they said. It's really my fault, said Oliver sadly. I shouldn't have fallen in the turntable well. Toad the brake fan felt sorry for Oliver too. Next morning he spoke to Douglas. I'm worried, Mr Douglas. This disrespect for engines, where is it going to end? Who knows, sighed Douglas. I've got a plan, Mr Douglas. May I stay here today and help Mr Oliver? We are both Great Western and must stand together. Of course, Toad, replied Douglas and puffed away. Soon Toad was explaining his plan. Goodness gracious, Toad, I don't think you should suggest such a thing to Oliver. But Oliver interrupted. No, Duck, Toad's right. It's really my fault. I must put this trouble right. I meant no disrespect, you understand. Of course not, Toad. Anyway, Driver says the same. And he's arranged it with the station master. Very well, Oliver, conceded Duck. But I must hurry. My passengers will be waiting. Good luck. So long, smiled Oliver bravely. But he felt dreadfully nervous inside. Oliver marshaled the worst trucks two by two. That's the way, Mr. Oliver whispered Toad. And if you leave that scruffy to last, you'll have him behind you. Then you can bump him if he starts his nonsense. Hold back, hold back, whispered Scruffy, and passed the word to the others. The silly trucks giggled. But Oliver knew what to do. There was plenty of sand on the rails and his wheels gripped splendidly. He gave a great heave. Oh, groaned Scruffy. I don't like this. Go it, yelled Duck. Well done, boy, well done. Oh, wailed Scruffy. Oh, I'm coming apart. And he did. Then there was trouble. Well, Oliver, so you don't know your own strength, is that it? No, no, sir, said Oliver nervously. The fat controller inspected Scruffy, as a thought. Rotten wood, rusty frames. Maybe if we put you back together, you'll earn yourself a better name. Nowadays, Oliver only takes the trucks when the other engines are busy. But they are always quick to warn each other. Take care with Mr. Oliver. If you play tricks on him, you'll never be the same truck again. Scruffy has learned his lesson and says nothing at all.